Well, a very good evening, everyone. Welcome to VBS Community Stadium. It's FA Youth Cup action tonight. Sutton United against Leighton Orient. And join us here as the game is about to kick off. Sutton United will be playing towards the Ganderbury Lane end in the first half, and they kick off playing from right to left. If you look down from the back of the stand, and immediately the ball is launched forward. Sutton all in amber, Leighton Orient all in red. And the sides playing the first round of the FA Youth Cup tonight for a away tie at Bristol Rovers in the second round towards the end of November. Look forward, chance possibly for Sutton to put the Orient defence under pressure, but they both look quite well and eventually there's a, a loose ball. It's picked up by Marcus and now McNally finds Owen Costello in on the left here, gets in a shot, but it's too close to the goalkeeper. He feels it quite comfortably, races to the edge of his area, kicks clear. The first opening there for Sutton. Sullivan put Costello through and Costello with a shot. Sutton have, have gained increments of 10 yards down the right, so they're now a throw in close in the brain. There's Sullivan, right at the edge of the penalty area, lays it off to Grant, cross comes in, flicks off a player, might come out, Traore. And then Marquis, the chance now to get down the left and put a cross in, does, which should be too close to the goalkeeper, but in fact he has to back pedal and tip it over the bar, because for a moment I was dipping under the crossbar. It will be Sahid Nalio take the free kick. He plays it short to Pegram in the end. Now Pegram will whip it in, and it has to be tipped over the bar by Ian Oskua because that was heading in. I have a feeling there was a bit of intent with that from Pegram. Nalio will take this as well. And this one played short as well. Again, it's Pegram who comes short. Nick Green has he been brought down there? Yes, he has. And it's a penalty to Orient. Turning between Grant. And I think it was Traore, I think it was Traore who put the challenge in. Referee had no doubt, not any great complaint from any Sutton player who was anywhere near. Charlie Pegram, the late Norway at number 11, will take, facing Dewar. A lot of youthful supporters behind that goal chance because well. Pegram comes up and sticks it away, just inside the right-hand post. Dewar guessed right and got most of the way across, but it was very well placed. And Leighton Orient lead by a goal to nil. Pegram winning and converting the penalty. Plays it out to the right to Smith Coassi. There's a quick break here by Orient. It's Pegram now inside the penalty area. Cuts inside. Left foot shot, but he's straight at the goalkeeper. And he really should have done better there because he turned inside Williams. Which will be taken on the right by Cameron Sullivan. Plays it short, then gets it back floats in a left foot cross Nunes trying an overhead kick shot comes in it was a decent save by the goalkeeper actually McNally got the shot in and Phillips made a very good save there low down because it was quite a close range effort a little flick on there by Sullivan to McNally trying to put Costello in but it's time it's Ajumang who's across to clear ball flicked on and Smith Kuasi right edge of the penalty area plays the ball through to Pegram but excellent work by Nunes Pegram still picked up though might get a shot in does get a shot in an excellent save by Nunes down to by uh, Dua down to his left takes it with his right foot into the six yard box Nunes coming in ball runs loose a bit comes out to Vorster who gets a good touch and Sutton have the equaliser Sutton have the equaliser Vorster Drove it across, Nunes got the flip. It's gone in, there's all sorts of celebrations going on. But Sutton have the equaliser with 11 minutes to go. Manages to, to win it, finds Smith Kowasi. Good challenge comes in there, McNally with a chance to put Costello in on the right. Costello been down and then it's going to be a penalty, it's going to be a penalty. Man has brought Costello down, Sutton have a penalty, and from nowhere they have a chance to go 2 1 up. Oliver Kinder, chance to put Sutton 2 1 up with six and a half minutes to go. One down going to the last 10 minutes, but a complete turnaround. Here comes Kinder, right footed, saved by the goalkeeper. Then Nally comes in, can't put in the rebound, it's deflected away, and it remains 1 1. Back by Pegram, trying to turn in, trying to work his 
way in the penalty area, surrounded by Sutton players, still has the ball at his feet, turns in and goes a left foot shot, another brilliant save, and the offside flag goes up as Dewar makes a superb double save, the second one didn't matter, because the offside flag had gone up. Kinder with the free kick, Nunes and Williams have both gone up, we're well into injury time, it's surely the last chance to avoid going into extra time, Kinder with the free kick, chips it in, Williams going in, ball is out away appeals for a penalty appeals for a corner appeals for a goal kick and the referee decides to calm everything down by blowing the final whistle 90 minutes have gone extra time will be played it's 1-1 here between Sutton and Leighton Orient and here's Piero, the Orient captain swinging a long crossfield pass out to the captain uh, the substitute Davis bounces up hits Marquis on the arm and then Davis has got the better of Marquis to go into the penalty area, fires in a right foot shot at the near post and Dewar a little bit uncertain at that one but did enough to get the ball past the post for a corner. Olabai's come short, Kinder in fact knocks into the near post, Nunes almost got a flick in there, some nice skill there by McNally, chipped towards the far post, the goalkeeper's taken it, dropped it and then jumps on it again. Portsmouth have gone through as runners up in that group I think in fact they didn't need to win the penalty shootout the draw was enough for everyone here's McNally now trying to put Forster through and he's managed to get him by way of the deflection but Mark was supporting him on the left but cuts inside and goes through to McNally with a chance here's a great tackle by it there and it's eventually hacked away but there's still five minutes to look, to look for it it's a throw in it's hacked away by Obiero now Smith Kouassi can put Nunes under pressure flicks it on to Pegram Pegram here going on the left, plays it back into Smith Kowassi, who's right here, Smith Kowassi's in, puts it inside the far post, and Orient go in front, and it was a really well taken goal, Smith Kowassi got the flick on, Pegram went down the left, played it back inside, and Smith Kowassi slotted the ball inside the far post, won't be got good, it's very well won back by the Orient substitute, referee blows his whistle to his mouth, blows his whistle, and it's late and Orient who go through to the second round of the FA Youth Cup